All right, this is lesson one in the angles unit. Uh, today we're talking about classifying angles. All right, this should be a review from elementary school for you guys. So I want to go through some terminology that I expect you already to know, but we'll review it anyway. All right, so an angle is formed by two rays that share a common endpoint. And the vertex is the point where the two angles meet, or the two rays meet. All right, so a right angle is exactly 90 degrees. So if I draw a right angle, it's going to be 90 degrees. Put that little box in it. That shows us that it's 90. An acute angle is less than 90 degrees. So it is smaller than 90. Obtuse is an angle that's greater than 90. And a straight angle is exactly 180 degrees from there to there. All right. Now, these are super duper important. I like to call these angle clumps. So when you have two lines that intersect each other, they form four angles. There are two types of angles in these angle clumps. The angles that are straight across from each other are called vertical angles. So, vertical angles are 1 and 3 and 2 and 4. They're vertical angles that are straight across from each other and they are what we call congruent. Really congruent, the measures are exactly the same. The reason we don't say that they are equal is because this is angle 1 and this is angle 3. Whatever their degrees are, they are the same measure, but they're not equal because they're not the same angle, but their degrees are the same. All right. In an angle clump, we also have angles that are right next to each other. They are called multiple points. They are adjacent. Adjacent angles mean they share a side. So two and three are adjacent. One and two are adjacent. One and four are adjacent. Four and three are adjacent. I'm not in love with that. I would prefer and they're both, they're both of these things. We're going to call them linear pairs. Linear pairs. Adjacent are just two angles that are next to each other. So if I draw these two angles right here, these are two adjacent angles. These two are not a linear pair. But if they are in an angle clump, they are also linear pairs because they form a straight line. So two and three are a linear pair. One and four are. One and two. Three and four. So, Adjacent angles are ones that are right next to each other like this. I prefer these to be called a linear pair. They are also supplementary, which we will talk about later in the unit. Supplementary means they add up to 180. Now, I'm going to show you something that is super important, and this is a side note. Let me give you an angle clock here. If I gave you this angle and I said this angle was 40 degrees, you are going to need to be able to do this. When I give you one angle and an angle clump, it is super easy to find all of the angles. The vertical angles are congruent. So if this angle is 40, so is that one. Now, if you look at a linear pair, these two form a straight line or a straight angle. A straight line is 180 degrees. So if this is 40, won't this angle be 180 degrees? minus 40, which is 140. If that angle is 140, this angle is also 140 because they are vertical angles. How can you check to see if you're right? Think about this. If I go the whole way around, if I drew two perpendicular lines, all four of these angles are 90 degrees. That's 360 degrees. The whole way around is 360 degrees. And if I add all four of those together, I'll get 360. So, two facts, that, well, a lot of facts you need to know. Vertical angles are equal. A linear pair adds up to 180. They are supplementary. Okay, it's a straight line. They add up to 180. And the whole way around is 360 degrees. All facts that you need to be able to know. All right, take a look at this. Kyle Mason, please report to room 85. Kyle Mason to room 85. All right. 
this top, this is the bottom of page three in your notes. Let's name these angles four different ways, and this is super important. This, letter A, is angle A, B, C, or angle C, D, A. If you are going to use three letters to name your angles, the one that is on the vertex needs to be in the middle. I could also call this angle B. There's only one angle B, so I can use just the vertex, or angle 2. That's four different ways to name that same angle. That is a right angle. So I've named it four ways, I've classified it, and that's all I needed to do. Alright, identify a pair of vertical angles and adjacent angles in the diagram. So, on a pair, this is angle, it's hard to read. This is angle one, two, three, four. So, vertical will be angle one and angle three, and angle two and angle four. Linear pairs, in this case, they're calling them adjacent, and I agree they are adjacent, they're next to each other, but they're also linear pairs. Would be angle one and angle two. Angle two, and angle three, angle three, and angle four, and angle four, and angle one. All are linear pairs or adjacent. All right, now this is where we get into these problems are kind of like a puzzle. I like them. So if I'm taking a look at this diagram right here, and I'm asking you to find x, two ways you could do it. You could look at this angle relationship. 2x plus 2 and 130 are vertical. What do we know about vertical angles? They are congruent. So the equation that I could write is 2x plus 2 equals 130. Plus, let's solve this. Subtract 2 from both sides. So 2x is 128. Divide by 2, x is 64. That is one way I could have done it. Or, I could have looked at this angle relationship. They are a linear pair, which means they're supplementary. They add up to 180. So I could do 2x plus 2 plus 50 equals 180. Solve this. Solve 2x plus 52 equals 180. Subtract 52. So 2x is 128. Divide both sides by 2 and I get x is 64. So you can do whatever angle relationship you want, write an equation and solve for the appropriate variable. Let's do find y. They didn't ask us to do y, well they did down here. So y, I'm going to look at this angle relationship first. It is a, they are vertical and vertical angles are congruent. So my first equation, 3y minus 10 equals 50. Solve this, add 10, so 3y is 60. Divide by 3, and y is 20. Now, our other equation that I could have written, these two angles are supplementary or linear pair. So my second equation, 3y minus 10 plus 130 equals 180. You will get the same exact answer, y is 20. And it does not matter which one you choose to do. All right. Let's look at this. This is 115 and that's 5x. You want to find x. Well, these two form a linear pair. So their relationship is that they add up to 180 or they are supplementary. So our equation is going to be 5x plus 115 equals 180. Solve this, subtract 115, and you end up with 5x 